Hey YouTube, 21 Canadians here. I just made some new mini hockey sticks. So, um, here I have a Reebok AI-9. This is probably my favorite stick out of all of them. I just finished making it. As you can see, there's, I've been making a lot of sticks lately. So, yeah. So here I have the uh, Reebok AI-9. AI-9. Uh, Reebok name and just like that then there's the uh can't okay, not sure if you can see it but AI and I and then like that there's the uh red lines. On the bottom it's the rebox and the name and the AI and I again. <coughs> right there you can see a little bit of tape. It's nothing that big but <coughs> so yeah. And, uh, on this side, it's AI-9, the Reebok, and AI-9 again. So, yeah, this is, that was probably my favorite stick. And, um, I made this one, too. This was the first one I made the, with, um, the green tape and the glue. So, I tried that out before I used to just use tape. So, oh, that was my RS. Uh, here. The RS I just use tape. I never use a glue, so that's why it's really there's a lot of tape, so you can't really see it like right there in the middle. There's a lot of tape, so yeah. Now I use a glue, so it's a lot better. Here I have the <coughs> Rick Nash Easton SE16. This is what he actually uses for the top. Rick Nash. You can see the green tape. Just says SD16 synergy. The bottom, same thing. Just has the Eastern symbol. Then SC, then center. It says synergy, but I cut it off because one piece was too big. So, and uh, on this side, it's Eastern. There's just a little bit of tape over it. Eastern symbol right there, and there's the Eastern and SC16. This is, um, a okay stick. I like it. But I don't think I did that good of a job on it, so... I'm, I might redo it. Probably not, but... Anyway, still okay. Still shoots good. And here I have a blue warrior widow. So, here there's just the warrior. And with the blue and the black. This warrior symbol there. On the bottom, you can see there's a lot of green tape. It got ripped when I was doing it. So you can see a lot of the green tape. So, yeah. It wasn't that good, but anyway, it's for my friend. So, there's the blue there. And the. There's. I'm not sure what symbol this is. I'm pretty sure it's, uh. I'm pretty sure it's like grip tack or something. I'm not sure. I'll check. I'll check later. But anyways, and then there's a failed warrior symbol there. So and for the top, there's the warrior symbol. Then there's this blue thing there. I'm not sure what it is. Just the line. And for this side, it's just the warrior symbol, then the blue with the black there. And yeah. So, I like all these three sticks. This one's left from from Ovechkin Curve. This is, uh, I'm pretty sure this is his curve. I'm pretty sure it's Rick Nash's curve. I'm not sure. It might be. I tried to make it, uh, pretty close what he uses. I'm not sure if I made an exact replica, but I tried to, so, yeah. And for the AI-9, I did an Ovechkin curve, so. I usually use Ovechkin curve a lot. If it's just, um, if it's just like a stick like this, not my bet, not my favorites, I'll use just a regular curve, or whatever I put on the name bar. But, um, if I like, 
like this is my favorite stick the AI9. So um if I were like I use an Ovechkin cutter. Same with the RS here. It's one of my favorites, so I use an Ovechkin cutter. And all the rest like uh here. At the time at the time I didn't like it that much, so I just used regular curve. And this is going to be on an EQ50, so I'm going to be making this out of an EQ50. And I just printed out the graphics, so, and so thanks for watching.